everybody, it's Tamara, and today is Lesson 7, Love is Not Easily Angered, Just It Does Not Jump to Conclusions. That's what it is today, so that's what we're going to talk about. That's what the class is going to be out. The les that's what the lesson is going to be today, so don't forget to go over to TamaraBernadette.com and uh, take the class, do the study. Anyway, just briefly, now uh, last week it was... Um, it was, a, it was a long week, so I'm going to try to make this a little bit shorter. So today, I just want to touch on briefly about um, love is not easily angered. So let's just say this. We all do it. We all jump to conclusions, and when we jump to conclusions and it's wrong, then we get angry. And what happens when we get angry and we've jumped to conclusions? First of all, when we get angry at the people that we love, you've already put up a wall. You have already stop any kind of communication to be able to explain for, to allow them to explain what's really what really happened something may have happened like let's say how about your husband how about you let's say you you went you went out for the day and you told your husband you needed him to take care of certain things for you whatever it is to maybe make room in the garage for something and he didn't get around to it so you come home and you see it's not done you open the garage and you see it's not done immediately you think that he ignored you immediately you're angry immediately you just want to lash out at him because you think you didn't listen to me you never listen to me you never do what I ask you to do you knew how important this was to me I've got the car loaded with stuff I told you I was going to the store to get all this stuff and I asked you to move move some things around and make make space for what I was bringing home and you didn't do it because you always do that you never listen to me meanwhile He's back here saying, hold, hold on a second. Let me try to explain. No, I don't want to hear your excuses. Stop not making excuses. I'm just trying to tell you what happened. I don't care what happened. And you storm out and you're angry. And he's and you've just offended him. You've just hurt him. And you didn't spend the time, just a few minutes, to hear what he had to say. When probably, it probably was something as simple as somebody called on the phone and he had to take the call. Because it was important. It could have been job related. It could have been maybe your kid was out of soccer practice, pra so soccer practice, and the ride he was supposed to get back home is no longer available. And so your kid's stuck out there on the on the play field waiting for you or your husband to go pick him up, and he's on the phone trying to figure out what you know what happened. Or um, maybe he was in the middle of moving some things. He was in the middle of moving some things, but he had to go make some space elsewhere to put some of those things in there. Like maybe you have a shed in the backyard and he wanted to move some things in the shed, but he had to clear out the shed. Whatever it is, it could have been, he could have just forgotten for a second. Maybe he didn't know you were going to be home so quickly. Who knows? The point is you didn't give him a chance and you jumped to conclusions that he ignored you, that he didn't love you enough because if he loved you, he would have done what you said. If, you, if he loved you enough, he would have jumped like that. No, 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 and no. And that happens also when we are dealing with our kids. You've asked your kids to, I know kids, it's a little different because they are hard-headed and they will, you have to tell them it half a dozen times before they will get off their slugger self and go do what you ask them to do. But there are some times when you've asked your kid to do something and they didn't get around to doing it and immediately you jump on them. And you haven't listened to what he had to say or he, what she had to say. Maybe it's a perfectly good reason. And she has every intention on doing what you asked her to do. But you have already jumped on this poor kid. Didn't give him a chance. And what have you done? You've built up a wall. Communication is broken. Your kid has become too afraid to talk to you. Your husband doesn't want to come to, come to you and talk to you about anything because he's afraid you're going to go off on him. You're not going to hear what he has to say. You're going to take it all wrong, get all offended, and then he's not going to want to talk to you. Meanwhile, this goes on over and over and over over time. And you don't have a relationship. You're not husband and wife anymore. You're roommates. And you wonder, wow, what happened? Well, you got angry and you jumped to conclusions and you didn't let anybody, you didn't let anybody explain to you because they're so afraid. You're standing here like this and you're waiting for an answer. You're waiting for them to give you um, an excuse is what you're thinking. Um, and, and granted, there are, there are times when it is blatant excuse because they don't really want to do it. They don't really want to empty out the dishwasher. They don't want to stop watching a game just to go take out the garbage. You got choices, okay? You got choices. Do you want, how do you want to deal with your life? 
Do you want to be angry at every, at every turn? Do you want to get offended every time? And there's no reason to be offended? And what does offended do for anybody? So don't get so angry all the time. And if you feel like you're like this, this is when you need to learn to back up, go spend some quiet time with the Lord, and maybe count to 10, count to 100, count to 1,000, whatever it is. Go for a walk. Come back and then deal with whatever it is. Like the Lord said, like the Bible says, don't let the sun go down in your anger. In other words, don't go to bed angry because you'll wake up angry. Um, and again, you and your husband are lying in bed and you've got your backs toward each other, not talking. That doesn't solve anything. So don't jump to conclusions. Don't be so ready to be angry. Don't always assume the worst. These are, these are people that you love. You love these people. Don't, sh don't show love, show compassion. Be an ear. Let them hear. I mean, let, let them know that they can come to you and talk to you about things. Don't be that person that, that, the, that the Lord has to pull you out and he's got to go deal with you like a child. No. I mean, let's, let's practice these things. Okay, practice these things. Take a breath. Take a breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and then let it out. Do that a couple more times if you have to, but... Move yourself, remove yourself from the situation, calm down, and then let, let your husband or your kid or your mom, your parent, your sibling, just talk. You know, it, maybe they're going through something and it, and it stumped them and it kept them from doing what they wanted to do for you. Did you look at a text sometime? They sent you a text and all of a sudden you read it wrong, completely misunderstood what they were trying to say. And you got so offended and you stopped talking to them for a while because of the text that you received from them didn't make any sense. And you just assumed that it was them trying to insult you or, or, um, or, or, or something. Life happens. People make mistakes. People are not really trying to upset you. They really aren't. They really want to stay on your good side. They don't, they're not looking forward to you losing your temper and lashing out at them. Nobody wants that. I know I don't. So let people talk. Give people the benefit of the doubt. So that's what this study is, is to check yourself, is to check and answer these questions and, and see, do you fall into this place? Or are there some areas that you need to work on? And what are those things that you need to work on? Not everything is going to be um, a yes for you. It's going to be, no, I'm cool with that, or I'm all right with that, or, Maybe it's some other areas that you need to need to work through. But either it doesn't matter. You're going to go through the you're going to go to the Holy Spirit who's going to help you in whatever your area it is. So go to the lesson at www.tamrabernadette.com and um, do the class. So anyway, that was the lesson for today. So I hope you're having a really good day. And thank you again for for participating in this. And, and I pray that you were. You're having a lot of aha moments and, and things are beginning to turn for you. And you can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your spirit that God's really doing a work. So anyway, God bless you. Until next time. Bye.